So um, today I'm going to be showing you how I created my battle bus from Fortnite and 3D printed it. So first off I created it using an online, um, basically it's, it's like a shape maker I guess you could say. It's very similar to Blender, um, only it's more like easy to use but you also can't do as much. But um, so here's my bus that I made. Everything in this was made by me except for the flames up here. The flames, I obviously couldn't make an intricate design like that. I wasn't quite, I don't think it's possible to make something that intricate in Tinkercad. I think you have to use Blender or something because I don't, I just couldn't see someone actually making that. But um, so yeah, there's a flame right there. And then, um, so this is where I downloaded it from. It's called Thingiverse. You can download multiple different files and um, there's different 3D printing files, and you can add it to your model. Um, here's the files. Most files come in an STL format. But um, one of the problems I encountered when I was making this bus was I had emailed this to Mrs. Dink, this file, and it would not print. It would print this bottom right here, the bottom of these wheels, and but it would... Once it got done with the bot very bottom of the wheels, it would just start going crazy. And that was because this part was not connected fully. It was up farther. It was like that. And as you can see, it's not fully touching the plane. You can see the white space that signifies that there's not it's not touching. So I had to move it down to make sure it was touching. And then that allowed it to print. Because in the beginning, it wasn't connected to anything, so it was just like printing in thin air, which didn't work because it's a liquid, and it has to be on. It has to be placed on a solid. But um, everything else I did was made by me, and I got help from Lane and Dylan when I didn't know what to do because it was just printing. Because I didn't realize that it was in mid air, and so they told me to maybe check that out. Um, what else? Oh yeah, here's some videos of, or little screen captures of me working on the bus. Um, so. This is me creating the top of the, I'm trying to create that top part where the flames come out. And I did that by just making some squares. And then I downloaded the flame and put it there. And where's another one? Uh, this is me creating the top of the, or the, like the pillars, I guess, that holds up the frame of the bus in the game. And I did that by making a circle and then creating planks with using rectangles. And then I grouped them all together and moved them as one piece. And then I just copied them and made sure that they're at the same angle. And then for the windows, this was really easy. All I had to do was just, you can see how this is like at the start of my project, so it doesn't look nearly as good, you can tell. But um, I created windows. I kind of rounded them using by upping the radius. And then I just placed multiple of them all over. And I did the same for the door of the bus. And I made sure they were on the same like uh, number on the grid so that they were even. And then how I made the hood was of the battle bus was just I get it I got a rectangle and then rounded it by upping the radius, kind of similar to the windows. And as you can see, it makes it more rounded around the edge and look more realistic instead of just being like a box. And then what else? I think that's it for my project. Everything I did. So yeah, overall, Tinkercad, it's easy to use, but it also you can't do as much in it than in Blender. But um, I don't know. It's very similar to Blender as well. So I feel like lots of the skill sets I learned in that Blender project that I did earlier in the year helped me with this project. So um, I chose this project because I had previously worked with like 3D modeling and in Blender and I just wanted to try to create something and then actually print it by exporting as an STL file and then using MakerBot. 
to um, monitor my print as it printed, I guess, because um, there is a built-in camera that you can use, actually, to as long as you're connected on the network, you can monitor it and see if something messes up, so that way you know to stop it.